anyway the chair also is just painted this it goes on the pedestal here um, the cockpit dash is is all is just um, painted the black um, there is a um, there was a compass here I made a plastic piece that you um, there's a resin compass that goes in there but there's a plastic piece that's glued in uh, you just have to cut it out and glue it on and then uh, trim the around the edge of the base of the uh, compass to sit it in place okay um, there's also a gun uh, a gun sight it has it's a tube it's actually three piece you got the lens you have to cut out the gun sight itself and then the gun sight holder all right the um, joystick I tried to make it look a little bit better than just a plain stick with the circle on top this kind of fashioned after the real one um, when you get it it will be a two piece the hole in it, it will fit the um, base of the uh, upper part of the joystick itself. It just slides down in there um, and you need to uh, apply some glue to hold it in place. Anyway, um, there is a hole in the fuselage base, or, or the, not fuselage, but the cockpit base that you just have to drill out and you need to work a little bit of time to make sure this stays tight and this just slides in place. Okay. Um, now I do want to show you something I ran into. Uh, there is a stop that comes up here that stops the um, dash from coming any further forward. I'll, I'll explain to you. I cut this one out to, to um, show you how to do something. But this comes all the way forward and the dash stops here. Okay, I'll show you the, uh, why I cut this out in a minute. And you can do this to yours or leave the dash back here. All right, once you get it all um, painted, it's really easy to install. Uh, I, I had you move um, from the back here forward um, five inches. I ended up cutting that back to four and three quarters. And you just have to trim it to whatever um, you feel necessary. All right, the bottom, you need to go ahead and add you two. You need to add two stringers across here. Like I said on the last one I did, I used a quarter inch by, um, by half by the width of it, um, piece of um, light light aircraft ply or light ply light air or aircraft ply okay you need to go ahead and put those on there and stiffen up especially if you're going to put a pilot on here all right um i'm going to get it set up and i'm going to show you how to install it into the fuselage okay installing this is pretty easy um i i generally grab it on each side i'll go ahead and set the dash in because Trying to get the dash beside all that uh, stuff I've already installed is kind of hard. But anyway, I mean, you possibly be able to go ahead, after trial fitting, glue this in place before you ever stick it up in there. But anyway, to install it, I just uh, pinch it on both sides, and I'd like to say I have the dash in place. I come up from the bottom and just grab it. Let's see if you can see. Grab it from the um, inside and just pull it up into place. And you can see that the, the lip fits right there. I got a couple pieces of tape and we'll hold it in place with. All right, now, when you get ready to glue this in permanently, you need to rough up the upper edges there and use a good grade epoxy. And I would do one side at a time and glue that in. And also, make sure you tape your area off because sure enough, you're gonna get some glue drip down the side of the plane and it makes it look horrible. So anyway, go ahead and glue one side at a time. All right, the chair, uh, this policy just comes in here and it's glued. Um, one thing about this plane, you're un I was unable to do a headrest because this is all built here. And to try to blend in something else, it would just it just would not look very nice. Um, you can always do that yourself if you want to try. Anyway, the dash, you have to get it. It comes up to those stops I was showing you. All right, let's see here and pull this around. All right. On the, on the real plane, if you look at the uh, three views or, or pictures of it, the dash ends right here against uh, where the, the front circle comes. And that's where normally the um, gun sight would go. Well, I found out something when I was working with this after I had it all done, that when you put the um, canopy on, you you end up the canopy has slid slides that back a little bit so you so when you try to put the gun sight on as it is it will hit the front of the canopy all right one thing you can do 
you can see where I had cut those position those pieces off to where I can actually move the dash. Now you can do it either way. You either make you a bigger standoff for the um, gun sight, or cut that forward and bring that dash forward the full width of the dash. Now that gives you a little bit more. You can see the dash a little bit better. Now you still have to take your gun sight and make a little bit more of a standoff, but maybe just a quarter of an inch to get that in there. Okay, that's the only differences is that you're going to have to make your standoff out of uh, uh, like a piece of light ply or a piece of air, uh, quarter inch aircraft ply just to stand off a little further to go up against the windscreen. So you can do your dash either way. You can put it in where I had it originally where it meets this contour here like it shows on the real plane or you can slide it forward by just relieving those two stops and you can fill that with a uh, balsa or, or something like that anyway but that's the only discrepancy i had on the uh, the dash now one thing i will tell you if you're going to put your 50 cc motor in there you're going to have a lot of vibration um, even though even though you're going to put the um, stringers across here i would go ahead and after it's all installed take another piece and glue it to the top of to the top of that stringer to actually touch the fuselage sides. That'll support the um, the the cockpit and won't let just wear and tear over time of the vibration of your um, 50 cc motor get to fatiguing the um, sides of the cockpit at all. Um, you can glue the um, if you use a piece of plywood or a boss or whatever, you can glue it to the sides using Goop, G-O-O-P. You can find that at any Home Depot, Lowe's, any hardware store. But don't use any Goop whatsoever on the um, ABS at all. It will eat that. So anyway, uh, the only other thing you have to do is um, there's a piece of ABS supplied. You'll have to make you a, um, at the back, if you'll take a piece, you take a piece of paper, and you can um, lay it in there and trace it. And uh, once you got that template, and you can bring it up to where it just, just comes over this edge here because the seat covers up 90% of that across there. If you'll just um, trace it inside and um, cut your ABS out and then glue it after, after it's put in like this, come in from the backside, slide your ABS in and glue it up the edges to lock that in place and of course you do need to paint it but there is a big enough piece of abs to fit the whole area so uh, that will be that will be how you lock it the back end and once you get the dash glued in and the back glued in it really makes a nice strong box all right um that pretty much shows you how i uh install the cockpit um this is made around a six scale pilot the six scale pilot the um uh, VQ Warbirds or Tomas has will fit right in there. Um, you do have to put him in the seat and he'll, he'll sit right in place. Uh, the joystick's made. His hands will grab hold of the joystick. Um, anyway, it makes a nice addition to the airplane. You do have to uh, lower the um, push rods for the uh, all the control surfaces in the back just a little bit. And you also have to um, um, lower your servos a little bit, but that's very easily done. Um, but it adds a lot to your airplane. Uh, if you have any questions, you feel free to get a hold of me through tiesplanes.com or, um, of course, I always list my phone number. Um, the copy is available from VQ Warbirds, and I hope you enjoy putting it together and, and putting it in your airplane.